Hello, I'm Celebrant Kate and I'm here today to talk to you about baby namings. Baby naming ceremonies are one of my absolute favourite ones to conduct because they're so joyous. Um, basically what they are is a way of celebrating the birth of a baby when you don't want a religious ceremony. That's not to say you can't have elements of religion in the ceremony, but obviously if you want a baby christened or welcomed into your own particular faith, then you probably wouldn't want a baby naming ceremony. But if, for example, you have no particular religious affiliation, or maybe you and your partner or your families have different faiths and you want to include everyone, then then you would probably want to have a baby naming ceremony. In a baby naming ceremony, anything goes that suits you and your family. You might want to release bubbles. You might want to have rose petals. You might want to tell the story of your baby's life, particularly if it's something that was tricky or hard. For example, recently I had a baby naming ceremony for a family who had gone through a long period of IVF to get their most precious child. That story was told by the mum as part of the ceremony and it was wonderful to hear just how loved the special baby was. You may also want to have a baby naming ceremony when you have chosen a name and want to have a party and don't really know how to do it. And that's what I, where I come in. There are lots of different things that you can do to celebrate your new family. For example, a sand ceremony, which I explain in one of my other videos, is a perfect way of blending two families together. You might want to have an oathing stone where you say your promises to your child over a stone which you will then keep. Or you might want to plant a tree or a plant that's special to you in your baby's names. Any of these are options that you can choose. Usually there will be some explanation of the baby's name. There will be some explanation of who the family are and how you came to be. And usually there will be promises made. Promises by you as parents and promises by extended family or you might want to appoint godparents. Some people call them guide parents and some people call them odd parents. Doesn't matter. You can call them aunts and uncles, whatever you want that suits your baby. During the ceremony, which can be very short or can last longer, you might want to ask the people present to make a promise to help your baby through life because a baby takes a lot of effort. I think it's the saying is it takes a village to raise a family. That's very true and it's a wonderful way of including everyone in your life as part of the ceremony. And the finally, when I announce the names, that's the most wonderful moment. Sometimes people want to celebrate that by throwing flower petals or confetti. Sometimes they want the baby's head to be gently bathed in water or anointed with oil. And sometimes they want to have bubbles released or doves, doesn't matter. You can hold a baby naming anywhere because it's not a legal ceremony, so it can happen anywhere you like, anytime you like. Back gardens, parks, the seaside, or even at a local hall. The most recent one I did was at a lovely hall where they also had some bouncy castles and food and drink and they combined it with their baby's first birthday. You might want to have your other family members or other children in the family as part of it. One of the things that I offer is a lovely little tree um, drawing which the children present then add their fingertip um, fingerprints to in lots of different colours or your chosen colours and their little names which shows who is present because after all the friends your child grows up surrounded by will also be other children so it's a wonderful way of including them. There are lots of ideas I've got for making your baby naming special so please do contact me if you're interested and if you choose to have one with me then you need to know that I usually charge £300 and that includes all of the um, ceremony and the writing and rewriting and me on the day and I always provide the little um, fingerprint tree as part of my service. Thank you very much for listening and there'll be more Celebrant Kate Explains coming soon. Bye!